everybody, Joseph Rothschild here, aka MBT, back with another episode of One Take Testing, the show in which I show off a deck, give you a sense of how it plays, and let you know how I feel about it all in one individual take. We're on take one. Oh god, I can't even lie. Too many people subbed during the subathon, and now turning on sub mode does literally nothing. Anyway, today we are playing a deck exclusively for algorithm reasons. You know, sometimes it's good to turn on the blinders, uh, Google Yu-Gi-Oh, click the first thing that comes up, and then play whatever the person in that video is playing. And the video that I found most recently is Dezeefs showing off Crooked Cook Exodia. I dug a little deeper and found a Team Yadalocked video for Crooked Cook Exodia, and then found that Yadalocked had actually stolen Crooked Cook Exodia from a YouTuber called Candy Chan three months ago. That's right, I'm on to your secrets. Anyway, behold, the biggest war crime since Mystic Mine was printed. We're also playing Mystic Mine, uh, try, try to ignore that. Uh, the point of this deck is simple. Uh, you are meant to make number 59 Crooked Cook, which while you control no other cards on the field is unaffected by other cards' effects, and circumvent the fact that it can be walked over by any monster with 2,400 attack using Right Hand Shark. Uh, this card, if uh, used as Xyz material, prevents the monster that it's under from being destroyed by a battle. Uh, functionally, this is a super invincible boss that can only be outed by a couple of cards in Yu-Gi-Oh! and you sit on it until your opponent either quits or you draw Exodia. It's not a particularly good deck. It's not a particularly fun deck. It's not a particularly interesting deck. I don't think the games will last long enough for me to qualify for mid-roll ads, but we're playing it anyway. I don't care what chat says. Now, you might notice we are making a couple of very specific choices that you probably didn't see in either the Dizzy video or the Yadalok video or the Candy Chan video or in your nightmares, and those are... Ghost Reaper and Winter Cherries. Now, unfortunately, there is a card that is becoming ever popular that does out this card. It is found in many main decks. It is Underworld Goddess of the Closed World. This is one of the weirdest cards in Yu-Gi-Oh! It can be made with four effect monsters, and it is a Link 5. It can use a monster your opponent controls as material to Link Summon this card, and it can use Crooked Cook with Right Hand Shark underneath it. As a result, we need to banish that from our opponent's extra deck before they can find it. Now, keep in mind that this is still outable by any kaiju, any negation on our method of choice, the buzzsaw shark, uh, any way to make us have to interact with our opponent, uh, any lost die roll, any hand disruption, uh, any deck that is playing outstanding dog Marin, uh, and anyone who is willing to get an assault charge uh, in order to improve the game of Yu-Gi-Oh! once and for all by eliminating people who play this deck from the playing population. Um, however, I am going to do the worst thing I can and queue into another person on the Edo Pro ladder playing this monstrosity. So, our opponent's going to begin with a copy of Pot of Prosperity, and let's see what they've got off the top. They are going for six, banishing cards from their extra deck real quick. I am interested in seeing what they are playing. All right, here we go. One, two, three four, five, six, and it's Dinosaur, ladies and gentlemen. Dinosaur is what our opponent is playing. Dinosaur. Why would they ever play Dinosaur? Please play a better deck than this. I don't even need the Crooked Cook. I could just activate Mystic Mind. There's nothing Dinosaur can do about that. All right, they're going to normal summon a copy of Soul Eating Over Raptor and activate the effect. Chat, I got to ask you, have you read the card my opponent is about to add to the hand? I'm talking, of course, about... Miscellaneousaurus, now unfortunately at a singular copy. Rest in peace, Don Juan, but at the end of the day, you knew what you were getting into when you played a deck like this. We're going to activate the effect of Miscellaneousaurus for one. And then we're going to activate the effect of Anbidorn Archosaur in the field in order to pop the Baby Sarasaurus that we added to our hand off of that prosperity. That Baby Sarasaurus is going to get a Baby Sarasaurus from deck, and we're going to do the Overraptor Shuffle. Ah, that doesn't really sound right. The Soul Eating Shuffle? The Overraptor will trigger the Baby Sarasaurus that was sent to the graveyard while summoning a Baby Sarasaurus from deck. We're going to get a copy of Scrap Raptor. Remember when Scrap Raptor came out and everyone said, Oh my god, Dinosaur is going to be tier zero. And then it proceeded to do nothing in any deck for the majority of its lifespan. Crazy, right? All right, we're going for the Link Rebo, going for the Scrap Wyvern. Oh my god, they're going to make us sit through another two minutes of combo? This is what I can't take about Dinosaur players. Like, at least if you play Dinosaur, you could do your best to, like play it quickly. Like, you need to be playing the version of Dinosaur that beats your opponent to death very quickly. Uh, if you are playing a combo variant of Dinosaur, you know there's other options, right? You could play Tri Brigade, you know? Uh, you don't have to play this deck. Alright, we're gonna go for the Giant Rex, and I don't think I can beat the rank 4 here. 
Uh, I think my only out is if they go for Logia over Dolka and they negate the Mystic Mine. Well, Dweller's not particularly good. They're going for Dweller. Oh, they're going to make three rank fours? That seems a little bit like overkill. All right, there's the Dolka. Uh, I can't beat that card, so... Oh, jeez. What a fun duel this was. Set one pass. Okay, we can do this. Mm, maybe not, maybe not. They're going to start with an Abyss Dweller. Uh, we can begin with a Mystic Mine. That's going to bait out the Lagia. And now we need to find the second Mystic Mine off of this Magical Mallet, I believe. Whoop, 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 whoop. Not helpful. Not helpful at all. Wow, that was like actively unhelpful. Uh, okay, let's uh, let's go for the uh, Beatuniful Princess here, and let's just uh, let's just pack this one up. Okay, that was a fun one. Uh, let's let's try again. This time we are going to get to go first. So uh, you know the better duelist uh, will probably win. Excellent, perfect, exactly what I wanted to see. Uh, let's begin with a copy of Beatuniful Princess. We're going to activate the effect here. And we're remembering the whole day so we can chain ignition priority. We're going to go Buzzsaw Shark. We will trigger the effect of the Buzzsaw Shark. We are going to summon from our deck a copy of Right Hand Shark. And see you in 33 turns, idiot. <laughs> ah. So, chat, do you come here often? Lost World? Sure. So, they have, like, the full combo. They're going to go Lost World, Normal Summon Over Raptor, big fucking whoop. <laughs> sick, sick play, buddy. All right. 32 turns remain. I'm feeling pretty good about this one. Over Raptor off the top. Must be nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Seal 1 over Raptor, Seal 2, Lost World. Yeah, chain block it all you want. I'm not playing hand traps outside of Grossed Reaper and Winter Cherries. Whoa! Wait, 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 wait! Uh, that's not good. Well, we might not be dead here, and if we're not dead, we can go for the Beatuniful Princess again, or maybe like Right Hand plus Astral Kariba. We're not dead, right? No shot we're dead. I mean, we have... The, no, there's no way there that we're dead. No, stop spamming Copium. We're not dead. We're not dead, Chad. Do not... Sp yeah, we might be dead. Oh, man. Oh, that, oh, dang it. Oh, my... Oh, my internet went out. Well, now we'll never know who would have won that game. Well... Here are my thoughts about that deck. If you play it, go fuck yourself. See you next time.